it's Sunday. Sunday. It's Sunday. I'm excited. Are you having a good day? You'll have to excuse me. I just ate a gigantic chocolate cupcake. You ever eat something like a big cupcake and then you, for the next hour or so, you feel like you have it all over your face? Like, <laughs> I feel like I need to wash my face. I feel like if, if I have chocolate on me, that was a good cupcake, but it was enormous. It was enormous, but it was wonderful. It was made by this lady that I've been working out with now for over a year and a half, and she's a really good cook. She can bake. She can cook all kinds of stuff, and she made these. They were chocolate cupcakes, and she had made this peanut butter icing to go on them. I've never had peanut butter icing before. Um, man, it was good. It was good. It was really good, but big, and then I felt like I, I feel like I have chocolate and icing all over my face. I probably do have it in my teeth, so I apologize, but I don't, I'm not that worried about it. It'll be okay. Um, what am I doing today? I don't know. I've just been to my second exercise class of, of the day. I'm not, I'm not going anymore, although I do plan to go to two tomorrow. I've started doing two on Mondays for the time being, when I can. I mean, sometimes something comes up and I might have to miss one, but that's just what I do. I guess that's like one of my hobbies now is that I didn't, I think I've devoted enough time to it that I can call it a hobby. I need a glass of milk or something after that cupcake. It was good. Chocolate, I mean, sorry, peanut butter icing with a chocolate cupcake. It was like you took a Reese's cup and turned it into a cupcake. It was good. It was very good. So, yes, I'm having a good day. Not really anything has happened. My son had a friend over last night, and he spent the night, and Lord have mercy, they were up giggling and talking and making racket, and it was two thirty. it was almost three o'clock this morning when I finally just went down there and said, okay, y'all, go to sleep, go to sleep. I have to get up, because I had a class this morning, like, I gotta get up in the morning, go to sleep kept waking me up down there yeah I like my son's new friend he's really nice he's so polite oh my goodness he's very polite um but he doesn't really have an indoor voice that's okay because my kids don't either when they get to talking they get louder and louder and louder I don't know why it's like they're trying to out talk one another yeah so I can't say anything my kids are the same but anyway he went home a little while ago Oh, there's a Triumph, a little Triumph uh, convertible. Oh, now it's a little blue. It's gone now. So, I'm actually going to go to Goodwill. I haven't been to Goodwill in a little bit, and I'm, I'm, I want to go. So, I'm going. I, I do what I want to do. I don't have anything else I have to do right at this moment. Um, I'm working on some laundry at home, but it's it can wait. It's nothing I need to rush home and do anything about. What is going on? Not much of anything. I don't know. It's been kind of a quiet day. It's been a pretty day. Um, it's warm. Warm and cloudy. It's about 80 degrees outside. It feels really good. It was a little chilly yesterday morning. This morning was perfect. I worked. We did an outdoor workout. It was. The weather was absolutely perfect perfect for it. The one we did outside yesterday was a lot of running, which I'm not fond of. I don't like all that damn running. Quit making me run. This one and this one person that does the class, like, they know I hate it. As soon as I got out of the car, they're like, hey, Mary, we're doing your favorite thing today. I said, don't, don't mess with me. Yeah, we're, we're running. The big part of this workout is running. Like, God, I'm going home. I got back in the car like, screw this. <laughs> I did it, though. I did it. I've been taking another class that involves running, and I've built up about this much endurance. This much. That's another reason I will tell you young people to not smoke. Don't smoke. Because my dumb ass smoked for 18 years, and I now have decreased lung capacity because of it, and I will probably always have a problem 
Like, I feel like I just cannot get my breath. I just cannot breathe deeply anymore. Used to be able to, I can't anymore. When I was young, I could, but now it's like I, I just can't breathe as deeply as I should be able to. It's hard to describe, but yeah, smoking, man, it's no good for you. Don't do it. It's really, really stupid. You do not look cool. You look like an idiot when you're smoking. Just stop it. Makes your clothes stink. Makes your breath stink. Makes you stink. It's unhealthy. It's expensive. I don't know who can afford it anymore. God, I quit at the right time. When I quit, I think cigarettes were around $1.75. No, maybe $2 a pack. Shit, now they're like 6 Around here, anyway. Blech. Nah, don't smoke. It's stupid. Anyway. Um, yeah, a lot of running yesterday. Not so much today. And next weekend is Mother's Day, isn't it? It's a week from today, I believe. I don't have any plans. Although, I don't know if I was talking to you or somebody else when I, I said I'll, the only thing I want for Mother's Day is to go to Red Robin and try their cheese sandwiches because my younger son has been telling me literally for the last, God, probably three or four years, he's been telling me how good the cheese sandwiches at Red Robin are. I've never eaten at Red Robin in my life. And, uh, but anyway, I said, and I keep saying, well, we need to go, we need to go to Red Robin and have one of these cheese sandwiches, and we've never done it. I said, well, let's just do it. It doesn't have to be on Mother's Day. Take me to Red Robin, and I'll have a cheese sandwich on Mother, for my Mother's Day thing. So, I think that's what we're doing. I said, you know, I don't want anything. Um, Mother's Day is not a fun day for me. I'm not fond of it. It was around Mother's Day several years ago that I realized I started to kind of real awaken to the fact that I really had no sort of relationship with my mother. Like, and what I did have was very dysfunctional and not good. Because I, I remember when it first hit me, I was in Walmart looking at Mother's Day cards. And I was in there, and I had a sense of ob I have a sense of obligation to my mom. Like I was honestly, I was just checking off a box. Like I got to send her a card. Let's go get a card. So I went in there, and I'm looking through all the cards. And it was it was when I was looking at those cards that it hit me that I had a shit relationship with my mom because I'm looking at all of these cards and I open them up and it's like, Mom, you're my best friend. Nope. Mom, you do so much for us. Nope. Mom, you're always thinking of us. Hell no. And I'm reading all these cards like none of these, none of these just are accurate. If I got any of these, it would be disingenuous. I, I, I don't have that kind of mom. I just, I, I don't. I have, I, I love my mom, but it's not like a huggy, squishy love. It's more of a sense of obligation, I guess. Like, she, she is the bare, she's all about the bare minimum. Like, what is the least, what is the least amount of anything I have to do to get through this social obligation that I hate? She hates holidays, birthdays, any occasion. To her, it's just a bother. It's a pain in the butt. She has never even wished me Happy Mother's Day. Because she doesn't really see me as a mother. She said Mother's Day is for her because she is the mom. She doesn't have to wish me Happy Mother's Day. Because she is the mom. When I became a mom, I'm I'm a mom too. But it's Mother's Day. You're supposed to honor your mother. Well, you gonna honor any mother? It doesn't have to be your mother. I've never gotten a Happy Mother's Day from her. I've never gotten any acknowledgement at all like that. But she doesn't have to say Happy Mother's Day to me if she doesn't want to. I don't guess. But so anyway, so I was looking at these cards. And I'm reading them, and I'm going, none of these fit my situation. And I'm thinking, surely somebody out there has made some cards for people who don't have a great relationship with their mom. There's got to be something here. And I went, I looked at every card. I looked at every single card, the funny ones, the sappy ones. You know, I even looked at the religious ones. I'm like, there is nothing here that fits my situation. It's raining. So finally, anyway, finally, I went through them all, and, but I hadn't looked at the cheap little 99 cent cards. I didn't look at those because I thought, you can't send her one of those. Well, I got down there, and I was desperate because, like, none of these work. 
So I go down there and I'm looking at the 99 cent cards and I find this one card and it's this little card and it has this generic drawing of some flowers on the front and it, underneath it just says, it's Mother's Day. And you open the card up and it just says, Happy Mother's Day. I said, that's it. There you go. Get that one. This is me checking off a box. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. That pretty much covers it. That gets right to the point. It's a Mother's Day card. I will get it in the mail. Check that box off. And I, I would try to, you know, I would I would go to a lot of trouble to try to find presents and, and things that I, I thought she would like or do things for her that I thought she would like. And all I ever got was, well, it was weird. It was like, thank you. And it was just like, it was like she was talking to the person at the, at, at the speaker at the drive-thru. Thank you. And that was it. Like, there's... I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to describe, but it seemed like no matter what I did, no matter what I got for her, it was never good enough. It was just never quite right. And even if I got her exactly what she said she wanted, there would be some reason why it wasn't good enough, why it wouldn't work, or why it just wasn't what she wanted. So she would have this tinge of disappointment of, well, thanks, but... I appreciate the thought. I mean, it, you know, it's the thought that counts, so I appreciate that. I just, I have, I have spent my whole life feeling like I'm just not good enough for her. Like I'm a disappointment to her. And now that she has Alzheimer's and the filter has come off of her mouth, she has all but said that I am a disappointment. And she's just not terribly pleased with me. I committed the sin of being bored, not my brother, basically, was what, because the sun rises and sets on him. He is the golden child, and uh, I don't hold that against him, because he didn't ask for it, but she just lights up when she talks about him. It's just, you know, she gets all excited whenever she talks about him, or if he's coming for a visit, she gets all animated. Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta get ready. He's coming for a visit. But me, it's like, what do you want? What? She'll cook for my brother, or she used to. I don't know if she does anymore. But me, it's like, well, you better bring some food for me, for you and your kids. I don't have anything over here you want to eat. We don't. We can't eat her food. We have to bring our own food if we go visit her. So I will always stop somewhere on the way to see her to pick up whatever, or just bring some food from home or whatever. Because she says that literally every time. You better bring some food because I don't have anything y'all want to eat. I basically went no contact with my mom about two years ago. I don't really have any contact with her anymore. Um, and it wasn't a, a knee-jerk decision. It wasn't something I did out of anger. I'm not angry. I just, for my own mental health and for my kids' sake, I, it was, I thought it was the best thing to do. But I left the door open to her and said, if you want to see us, if you need anything, if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, let me know. I don't need anything from you. I don't, I don't need your help. And she just literally said, I don't need anything from you. I don't, I don't need anything. I don't need your help. I said, well, if you ever do, just let me know. You know how to reach me. Because that's literally the only time she ever does is contact me is when she needs anything. But since my brother moved back into the area, she became very dismissive of me. Like, you, you can go now. I got him back, so. You can go. You're free to go. Don't need you. So, so anyway, I, I don't especially enjoy Mother's Day. Um, I'm going to just make it about myself at this point. I don't know what else to do. I'll take the day and do whatever the hell I want to do. Honestly, it'll probably just be like any other Sunday. I don't really plan to do anything special. I, I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to try to go out to eat that day because every place is going to be really busy. and I, I don't care to do that. So, I don't know. It'll. I probably won't do anything. I'm just going to enjoy the day. And I I don't send her anything. I, don't, I haven't sent her a Mother's Day card now. This will be the second year I have not sent her a card. I don't do anything for her. She um, quit.
quit worrying about us a long time ago. Um, and you might say, well, you're depriving their ch the children of their grandmother. Well, they, she hasn't really given a shit about them either. I mean, whenever I go down there and take them with me, I have to basically force her to talk to them. Otherwise, she just ignores them. She couldn't tell you anything about them. She does. She probably doesn't even know how old they are. Um, she never expresses any interest at all in seeing them or talking to them on the phone. She just does not care. And that's not new. That's been going on, I'd say, since my younger son was a toddler. I mean, it's been 10 years. She has just not given one single shit about them. And they are her only grandkids. And she does not care. She has no interest in, in them. She, I don't know why. She just doesn't care. She's not one of these grandmas that spoils her grandkids at all. She hasn't even, let's see, Christmases and birthdays, nothing. She does nothing for them. She hasn't done anything for them in 10 years at least. I mean, I'm talking not a card, not a phone call, nothing. She does not care. Bare minimum, I tell you, bare minimum, that's what she does. And if she doesn't want to do it, she just doesn't. So, but I, I'm not really here to bash my mom. I'm, I'm, st I'm listing some facts for you. I mean, this is the state of the relationship that I have with her. Like, I don't have a relationship with her. But, our relationship has been one-sided for many years. Long, oh my God, 15 years at least. Our relationship has been completely one-sided. I have, I initiate all the contact. I go see her. I talk to her. The only time, literally the only time she ever communicates with me is when she needs me to do something for her or get something for her. That's it. And there's no small talk, no chit chat. How are you doing? It's like, Mary, do this for me. Mary, I need you to get something for me. Mary, take care of this. And that's it. That's all I hear from her. So I kind of knew in the back of my mind all along that if I ever stopped initiating contact that our relationship would just cease to be and I was right I was right all throughout COVID and everything going on in the last couple of years not one word from her not one word she never checked on us one time and to be fair I didn't communicate with her either I'm just kind of curious to see how long can we go I don't have any regrets. I sleep just fine at night. I realize she is getting older and one day she's going to pass away. I know. I know that. Um, I also know that being around her is not healthy. And I don't want to hear any more about how she feels about me. I've heard enough. I don't want to hear it anymore. She has told me enough. I am a disappointment. So. If you have a shitty relationship with either of your parents, I get it. And it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you did something wrong. I used up all my napkins with the cupcake. <laughs> I got one left. No, just because you have a bad relationship with a parent or a sibling or whatever doesn't mean that you're bad. Sometimes it just doesn't work. And you can't fix it. There's no amount of communication or therapy that would fix this. She uh, has no interest in spending time with me or my kids, and I can't change that. There's not one thing I can do about it. Not one thing. So, I decided to go no contact with her two years ago. And I don't regret it. I think I did the right thing. I can only imagine the shit I would have had to grit my teeth and listen to for the last two years. Yeah, she's let me know in, a, in no uncertain terms that she is not terribly pleased with me and my, my life. I'm basically a screw-up in her eyes. And my life has always been a mess. And I am just 
defective. That's okay, she has my brother back, so I'm sure she's pleased as punch with her life to have him around again. So I hope they'll be very happy together. He can, he can enjoy some quality time with her for a while. He's lived all over the country for the last 30 years. He only recently moved back to this area. He hasn't lived anywhere near her, near here, near here in 30, about 30 years. He's been gone for a long time. And uh, he was in the military for a long time and then he got out and has worked all over the country doing computer work. He's worked for Microsoft, he's worked for Google, he's worked for GE. <laughs> He now does um, work with 3D printers and makes more money than I will ever see. So anyway, I'm sure they'll be very happy together. <sighs> but anyway, I just wanted to say, I know Mother's Day is, is coming up. And don't feel bad if, uh, if you don't do anything. If you don't want to, don't do it. That's, that's my advice. Maybe that's not the way everybody feels. I mean, some people, you know, and I know people that have said to me, you know, blood is thicker than water. You need to make amends with your mom. Like, there's nothing to fix. There's nothing to amend here. Nothing. We've never had a relationship. We've never been close. Um, I, I mean, there's nothing to fix. There's nothing there. So, but if you have a parent or a sibling or, or whatever, any, anybody. And being around them is bad for you. Don't feel bad for looking out for yourself and just staying away from them. It's okay. And in, in my opinion, it's okay. I mean, everybody feels differently about it. Personally, I think it's healthy. If, it, if it's unhealthy for you to be around somebody, then you need to stay away from them as much as possible. <clears throat> so... Yeah, so next Sunday I probably won't be doing anything special. I'm just, I'll just take the day and I'll just do whatever the hell I want. How about that? I'll just do whatever the hell I want to do that day. <sighs> so, I'm at Goodwill. I'm going to go in there and see if I can find stuff that I don't need. <laughs> I may or may not buy it. It depends on how appealing it is. But I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. It is May Day. May the 1st. My God, how is it May already? Dang. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you again soon.